be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today, we're going to be covering the quickest way to make an ESTG type beat in Logic Pro 10. Let's get it. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and pull up the quick sampler and we're going to pull in some type of a trap sample. So we got this quick sampler here. Your software instrument track under here. You go midway. Stereo software instrument track, boom. Software, uh, this is gonna be their uh, quick sampler. Um, I have a couple of different sounds I was playing around with um, up here. Basically, I, I searched for a trap kit. I have Lex Luger Smoke Break Sample Pack, and then I went over and clicked on Melody, and I have this sample right here that I'm gonna go ahead and use. So we are gonna throw that in there. I'm just gonna drag it over here to original. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure follow tempo is on. Uh, what that's gonna do, see how it's uh, a, a, a tempo at 134. Now this sample should be at 142 because the tempo of the track is at 142. So we got this. I'm gonna play it right here. And what I'll do is I'll put musical typing on just so you can kind of see as well what I'm doing. cool so basically once we got our sample ready to go um, I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down so I'm gonna go ahead we'll just go ahead and lay it down like this okay after I lay it down like that I just go ahead and right click on it and that's gonna open it up in the piano roll and this is where we can actually quantize it make sure it's lined up the proper way so I'll just uh, command A to highlight it, and I'll just push this Q right here. You can change the quantization settings if you want there. So we have our sample. Now let's go ahead and start working on some drums. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this quick sampler back up. And what I could do is, we can work with any type of kit you want to, but let's go over here back to this Lex Luger, and let's see what we got over here as far as drums. So. Let's start off with like a clap or, yeah, let's start off with a clap. We're gonna talk, so just to go ahead and get to something simple here. We'll do this clap, drag it right in. Um, again, the quickest way, if you wanna lay down a clap sound, go to step sequencer, click right there and it's up. And honestly, that, that clap sample is not hitting where it needs to. We're gonna pull up this one instead. Breaks the mains. Bad. So next thing I want to do is go ahead and do the hi hats. We'll pull this up right here, and um, I'm just gonna pull in a hi hat sound and just go to the clap. So I can just go filter and then go hat, and now it should pull up all the hats. So we're gonna go ahead and do our hi-hats in the uh, step sequencer. You can start off by just doing it like that and then you can add some variation.
If you click over here and go to note repeat, you can do some cool stuff. <clears throat> now that we got our hi-hats going, we could just go ahead and first off, make sure we name everything. We're going to keep this beat pretty simple. And then from here, um, let's go ahead and start with like a kick drum. Just, just something simple. Do a kick here. It's a little higher, like, you know, a little lighter than what I want, but it might work well. Let's see. So I kind of messed up a little bit, but it's all good. Bet. So we have that going. Um, next thing I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and finish this out with like a, an 808 here. So obviously you can just go ahead, same process here. See what we got for 808s. So that 808, I don't know if that's going to really work well. I'm going to go with this one.
pretty much at the end of the day, all I um, all I could really do here to finish this out is uh, we're gonna get a uh, snare sound. Let's see if we can get a dope snare here. Those aren't working, man. Let me see. Another bricks to main snare is pretty good. Here is just maybe making like another version of this part, either maybe moving it up or down. Let's see what it'll sound like up. But yeah, <clears throat> that's pretty much it, man. I'm just gonna go ahead and end it there. Just so y'all know, we do have courses that you can grab from my site, Beat Making Basics. These courses have hours of content, similar to this, but actually goes into a whole lot more detail. Um, but anyway, you can grab those on my court on my site, Be Making Basics. You can also go get loot packs. We also have some drum packs on there. We have our giveaway. Don't forget about our giveaway. We're almost at our first milestone. All right, so this is how the giveaway works, y'all. Basically, we are going to be giving away some dope prizes along our journey to 100,000 subscribers. All right, first milestone is at 10,000 subscribers. I think we're at around 9,000 uh, and a little bit of uh, some change here. And so our first giveaway, we're going to be giving away a brand new pair of studio headphones. All right. Some lucky person is going to grab, is going to be get, able to get a free pair of headphones. Okay. Plus, I'm going to be giving away all of the stuff on my site to three, a couple of lucky uh, subscribers as well. All you have to do to get entered to win is go to my site, bemakingbasics.com. Go to giveaway. All right. Under that section, giveaway. And download the 100K pack okay basically uh, it's only five dollars to enter and the, uh, we're gonna pick out of the people 
who entered to win, all right? And you can win either everything that's on the site or you can end up winning a brand new pair of headphones. We do have other cool prizes at different milestones. So just stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also leave me your, your comments on what you think I should do next um, in the sections below. So thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video.